What do you mean by oxidation in VLSI? Well, my name is Rishi Ramju, and welcome to the Backbench Engineering community, where I make engineering easy for you. So, let us ask ourselves an obvious question. What do you actually mean by the term oxidation in VLSI? Well, let's find out. So, we know for a fact that using certain techniques like the Chokralski or the CZ technique, we can obtain silicon wafers like this. So here, let us assume that this is a silicon wafer. So now, let us assume that I want to convert this particular silicon wafer into silicon dioxide, that is SiO2. Then this process in which silicon wafers are converted into SiO2 or silicon dioxide is simply what you refer to as oxidation. As simple as that guys. Here the formation of this particular silicon dioxide is obtained by exposing this particular silicon wafer to an oxidizing environment consisting of oxygen that is O2 and water that is H2O. So therefore by exposing this silicon wafer to an oxidizing environment of oxygen as well as H2O, we get silicon dioxide. This simple process is what you refer to as oxidation. So now we might have the obvious question, why do we need to convert this particular silicon wafer into silicon dioxide, that is SiO2? So there are certain uses, that is upon converting this silicon wafer into SiO2 or silicon dioxide, we can provide surface protection. Here we can also provide device isolation, such as we can provide electrical isolation. And also it acts as a dielectric in MOS structures. These are the uses of oxidation in VLSI. So now there are two types of oxidation. The first one is dry oxidation and the second one is wet oxidation. So here when the oxidizing environment or the oxidizing atmosphere is pure oxygen, that is it comprises of only oxygen, then it is referred to as dry oxidation and then if the oxidizing atmosphere contains water vapor or H2O then it is simply referred to as wet oxidation. Let's now see the difference between dry oxidation and wet oxidation. So here the first difference is that when the oxidizing atmosphere is pure oxygen then the oxidation is referred to as dry oxidation but on the contrary when the oxidizing atmosphere contains water vapor that is H2 then it is called wet oxidation. Here in the case of dry oxidation the temperature must be in the range of 1200 degrees Celsius but in the case of wet oxidation the temperature must be in between 900 degrees Celsius and 1000 degrees Celsius. Here dry oxidation is a very slow process but wet oxidation is a rapid process. So here the equation for dry oxidation is Si plus O2 giving SiO2. And now the equation for wet oxidation is Si plus 2H2O giving SiO2 plus 2H2. These are the equations in the case of dry oxidation and wet oxidation. Here dry oxidation is used to fabricate thin oxides whereas wet oxidation is used to fabricate thick oxides. And now here the oxides that are grown in dry oxidation have got very good electrical properties. So these thus are the major differences between dry oxidation as well as wet oxidation. As simple as that guys. So this does is simply what you refer to as oxidation as well as the two types of oxidation that is dry oxidation as well as wet oxidation. As simple as that guys, there's nothing more to it. So I hope you guys now have a understanding of what you refer to as oxidation and the two different types of oxidation. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. You'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.